Hi everyone, this is Daniel from Geek Room and I want to give you a gentle introduction into Java Enterprise Edition. Today we want to focus on the Java web services that lets you build web service with a Java background. So you can build web pages as you are used to using Java server faces, plain old Java objects and Java beans. And I want to show you how easy that is. So I go on my project pane and I click new project. And there I select Java web and go to the next page. I give my Java web project a new name so I say hello glassfish because we're gonna use Java's glassfish server to provide the websites. And I go to next, I select Java glassfish and I get the latest stable IDE so that is 6 and I say next. I'm not going to use any frameworks here, so if you're not, that's the place to change it. And I go to finish, and so we're creating the new project. So NetBeans is now going to set up the files for me, and the Glassfish server is right installed with my NetBeans. You can install a, a Glassfish server that's not in your NetBeans, and you can take anything so you just have to configure it. But I am doing just the simplest way and I'm now here uh, with trying my new web page. And I want to show you how easy that was. I have a simple web page and I'm going to run. And now NetBeans is saying my Glassfish server to start up, to initialize all modules and then to load the page in my Opera. And I'm going to show you right the coolest thing we got here. And that is a simple hello world. It's just the way we entered it. So if I now go on hello world and I change this to a hello glass fish and I save it and I do nothing more and now change the window and refresh the page, I have hello glass fish. And that's the first cool thing I wanted to show you. And as you can see here, it's just HTML and you can paste in other, other modules, so Java servlets and Java Beans. It's quite easy. And you just have to type simple HTML and this is a Java server page. So we're now doing a little more crappy stuff. So I think we go to the project and we enter a new servlet and I say hello servlet and I go, no I go back, I miss to paste in the package name I say let's call it um, hello go to the next page and I go to finish and it just enters my methods and all my class for the servlet okay he did it and I go back to my browser and I just append behind my usual project I append hello servlet and I can see nothing. So when I say hello servlet 2 I see a 4, 404 so because he's not finding it and if I say just hello servlet he finds a thing and that's because here, there's everything commented out, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna replace it with nothing. And here we do have now HTML tags. I just saved it and I reloaded, and we see I have the default text I I was missing. So now let's do a little more stuff. That's uh, a little more freaky. So if I now um, paste in a method, I just I'm going to show you that. Let's say I just paste in over the first headline. I just paste in here a method that's something like this. What I paste it in is that I just set a count variable and I append it to my session. 
and I call it count and if it's not initialized I do initialize it. it by default it is zero and if there's nothing referring to so if it's uh, if it's referring to null I if it's not referring to null I um, take the value that's in the session and I set the new value that's just um, added one before and then I save it to count and I print it out in the next page. So I just changed it as you can see here in board written and I save it, it's not bold anymore and I go to my opera and reload it. And as you can see the page has been assessed one time and that's because I just added one before saving and printing it out. And if I reload and reload and reload and so on, he's keep counting up. So now um, you, you may say, okay, what about redeploying? Okay, uh, let's do something redeploying. I think I just pasted in here something that's, uh, that's going to force him to redeploy it. And I'm going to uh, type in your IP and then I get from the request he's sending me get remote address and that's my IP and I set here print line and you will now see that he's printing a line but that's not to confuse with the HTML line so he's not adding a break in here so I have your IP right in the right line as your as the page assess time. So that's not what I'm going to do. But as you, as you could see, he preserved the nine and added one by it. And that's because if you go to, uh, if, you, if I go to my server, I go to servers and I go to Glassfish and I say properties. And here is the value preserve session across redeployment. And if I deactivate it, close it, change something so he has so I can redeploy it. He's redeploying it as you could see. And now I reload it. I, I'm just again at one. And if I now say, okay, that was cool. I just kept every session data I wanted. So, I, so I'm going to re reactivate, preserve my session across redeployment and say close. I change again a thing and save it. And as you can see now, the next value, page assessed, will be 6. So before redeploying, he just saved my value and, I'm, and I am again at 9. So, but what I wanted to do is to show you that just a normal bracket in HTML I have to add so he's not confusing it, it with the HTML. That print line is not to confuse with break. He's not adding a break there. That's just another break like backslash n but backslash n is ignored by HTML engines okay and so does presto and opera so okay but uh, now and I now save it again and reload it and as you can see I have multiple lines on it so okay 